has heard of the Lexington Bluegrass Stockyards. Okay, now you may think, oh my goodness, this girl's gonna stand up here and talk about cows for five minutes. I promise you that's not the case. However, I'm gonna talk to you about the Lexington Bluegrass Stockyards, what it is, its history, what it has to offer, and I'll give you some insight on the auction process. I'm credible for this topic because last Tuesday, me and a friend of mine traveled to Lexington Bluegrass Stockyards and spoke to Laura Lee Estill and Jim Akers. And they both give tours and <coughs> trust me, they know everything you need to know about the stockyards. Okay, so what is the Bluegrass Stockyards? Bluegrass Stockyards, especially in Lexington, is headquarters for agriculture. It's an approachable place for the general consumer and a place to buy and sell cattle. Now, this is the fun part, the history of Bluegrass Stockyards. Bluegrass Stockyards started in 1946, started by five people. It started as a feedlot to fatten cattle and to grow the lamb lot and hog market. In the 70s, it added three new owners, the Bakers and Kenneth Holt. They switched then into a livestock market. So they were going not only to, um, you know, fatten your cattle, but to sell them as well. In the 90s, it became a buyback market. Buyback market is um, not only could they just sell them, they had the option to buy them back as well. In 03, they were looking for new land. Um, they were looking to buy many other stockyards. There's now a total of seven from the Tennessee line to the Ohio River and nine owners total. Now, these pictures here, I'll talk about them for a minute. They have a the museum in the stockyards has anything that you can think of. There are pictures, there are old artifacts, there, this TV up there in this picture here. Um, Jim, he actually goes through and talks about each and every replica in the museum. In January 16, a big moment in Lexington history occurred. The Bluegrass Stockyards caught fire and burned to the ground. After multiple um, discussions later, they decided to move and to rebuild. They're actually now located on Ironworks Road, right by the um, horse park. It opened September 17th of last year, or no, 2017. And since it's been open for a year, it has held over 37,000 scheduled classroom visits. 51% was just general consumers. So that's people just walking in saying, I want to go for a tour. And of course, here it is, new and improved. What does Bluegrass Stockyards offer? There's so much that you can go and do. It's just not a cattle market. This, as soon as you, these are the two front doors at the front of the building. As soon as you walk in, there are insurance companies. Um, they put in insurance companies, that way they bring in cattlemen. There are places for farm credit, KDA, marketing <laughs> sales. They market half a million cattle sales, including an online cattle market just at this one location. Um, and this is all with being in driving distance to change business for the better. When, if you ever go and do a tour, I call like to call this the educational slide. So they have this classroom back in the back and you go in, um, people come and give speeches, talk to you about literally the stockyards, anything you wanna know about a cattle industry. Where this little gate is right here, you can actually look back into the feedlot. This is up top of the cell arena, so you can go in, um, classes go, sit and watch the sale. And they call this the yards, which is basically, they have the entire state and all these little like silver places are like little cows that they have marking each stockyard. They wanted to offer a very new concept <coughs> of ag to the general consumer. And they can, in a way they haven't seen before. 
They wanted a place to innovate the new farmer about the industries and the food chain. Um, these are also like they have some shops. Hayden Mercantile is everywhere and then they have a restaurant in there. So now the auction. Um, cattle are sold at the feed, at the feed market. 38,000 cattle farmers are in the state of Kentucky. On average, 21.7 head are sold each Tuesday at Lexington. Um, they come in off the trailer. And the farmer goes through what well, they, they go through and they get a dog slip. This has their information on it. They go through and get cattle information and they see them through the feed bank. They then go to the stock alley, which this is what, this is the stock alley. This is actually through that classroom. That's what you see. Um, they go, they are categorized. They are pulled, sorted. They sort them by color, condition, sex, that kind of thing. And then they are sent off into the ring. This is the ring here. They go in, however, to help the farmer. So it's not A cattle, B cattle, C cattle. They go literally in any order just to get the farmer the most money. Once they are sold, they go out back into the feedlot and they, that's where they do their clerk work. So they're getting ready, getting them dispatched back to the farmer. To wrap things up, today I have shown you a look inside Lexington Bluegrass Stockyards. I've discussed what Lexington Bluegrass Stockyards is, the history, what it has to offer, and I've given you insight on the auction process. With this knowledge, I hope you all learned something you had no clue about. Trust me, I know the stockyards is so much more than a cattle auction, so I encourage you to go out and give it a look.